Now we're going to send it over to Vic. All right, listen to this, Justine. For the first time in its 175-year history, the band of the Fighting Irish is being led by three female drum majors. We're joined by two of them now, Lily Halleck and Elizabeth Travnik, who in addition to being drum majors together, they also live in the same dorm, Johnson Family Hall. Lily, Elizabeth, welcome to the show. First of all, uh, uh, your boy uh, is new to these new uh, campus parts here. Where, where is Johnson Family Hall located? Uh, so Johnson Family Hall is the newest woman's dorm on campus, and we're on the northeast part of campus, right ah. up by the Ricky family field. Ah, beautiful. All right, so what instruments do you both play? I'll start. I play the trumpet. And I play the falto, which most people know is a mellophone and is a marching French horn. Beautiful. Lily, what, what exactly does it take, then, to become a drum major? Why is this so historic in Notre Dame? Yeah, that's a great question. So the drum major audition process is fairly lengthy. We begin it in the fall semester and this audition process is separated into two large rounds. So the first round consists of marching part of the drum major pregame routine, which is where we include the big backwards trot, which I'm sure you've seen. Um, we also have them conduct two songs and they write a series of essays. After that, we perform a large cut and we have a small group of finalists which have the opportunity to conduct the band live and they also have interviews with our band directors and staff. Following this, we make a final decision in a band-wide email and this is really a special day not only for those student leaders but also for the band um, just because it serves as the very beginning of what will be the new band. So this year, um, for the next year's drum majors, they will be beginning, they will be beginning band 176. Uh, that is a lot more work than I anticipated. All right, um, Lily, how is, uh, Elizabeth, I should ask, how is the band now um, adapted and what are the responsibilities behind the scenes going on? Um, yeah, so a lot of our behind the scenes stuff happens in the spring semester really for planning. So the drum major season, I guess, starts in the spring. Um, and so you really facilitate that application process for the leaders of the next band. So this upcoming section of drum majors will be facilitating for band 176, as Lily said. And so after we help that process go through, we then start planning for orientation, which is kind of a leadership camp where we teach these leaders how to teach the um, incoming members. And then we go into band camp from there. And at band camp, that's where we teach the new auditioning members, the audition routine, have those auditions, um, and so they can make the band. With that then also, as Lily mentioned, we're in charge of the drum major audition process, organizing and facilitating that. But then on a more day-to-day -day basis, the behind the scenes stuff is really facilitating with the band directors and staff, with those student leaders and different band members um, to make sure everything's running smoothly and that communication is happening between both parts of the groups. All right, Lily, uh, we've all had to make changes due to the COVID restrictions. How, how has that impacted a drum major? Of course. So there's been two large changes that we've had to make throughout the season. Uh, the first one, I'm sure you've noticed, we haven't been on the field during the football games this season. So for that, we've largely had to adapt not only our practices, but our performances. So instead of spending the week performing and practicing for that field show at the end of the week at the game, uh, we've been mainly focusing on our music rehearsals. Um, and also with that, we've been doing a couple of very small scale uh, march outs and some musical performances. Um, the second main change that we've had to make is that we can't practice as one large band as a result of the university's COVID policies. So with this, we've had to split our band into two main groups. So we have a blue band and a gold band and they perform every other day. And Actually, we don't have our full band together until we perform in the stadium. So that's definitely been an, adjust, an adjustment. So all around, the band is definitely looking a lot different than it usually does, uh, but everyone's done such a great job really adjusting to all those different changes, and we're really proud of everyone who's been involved in the process. All right, last question for you, Elizabeth. Uh, you're all in the same dorm. Are you in the same dorm room or just the same dorm? No, we're both in singles, so we okay. actually live across the hall. So I can hear Lily a little bit over there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so not in the same hall, but we're in a little hallway too that we call the band hallway. There's six singles here, six band girls, and then there's some band girls throughout the dorm as well. Um, 
And it's really been helpful for us, I think, especially with these new COVID-19 restrictions to be living in the same dorm since we can't visit each other. You're not supposed to like be in too many public places too close together. Um, so it's really helpful. We sit in our doorways and put Jalan, the third drum major, up on Zoom in the hallway between us. Um, and it kind of feels like we're together having those meetings, discussing things, um, and really getting that work done. All right, Elizabeth, Lily, congratulations as drum majors and uh, continued success. Appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. having us. All right.